రకరకాల వ్యాధులకు ఇరవై ఏళ్ల అనుభవం ఉన్న అత్యుత్తమ హోమియోపతి వైద్యం మాస్టర్ హోమియోపతి It's a real pleasure and really happy to be here uh, at the launch of uh, the Urban Risers team. Um, it's a real happy occasion because uh, I'm so glad uh, my good friends with uh, Nikhil uh, being their coach and Raina, the captain, and we have some wonderful players, Peter, Guptil, Pagnan, and Suman. And uh, well, with Guptil and Peter, I'm, I'm sure they're going to score all the sixes uh, for our team, right? Yeah, hard eating batsman. I've always watched your game and you've been amazing. Uh, I'm really glad uh, you're in, uh, with the Urban, Urban Risers. And, uh, and it's really nice. Uh, uh, their colors are, I think, uh, yellow and uh, right, black. It's supposed to be power and energy, so there's a lot of power. See, that's it. When I said that, uh, that's how the power goes, right? Hello, yeah. So there's a lot of power and energy with this team and uh, uh, their symbol also symbolizes a soldier, their commitment to be the best in the league. And I'm sure uh, the new teams, uh, I think this year, uh, Urban and uh, the other team from Sun, so from the Southern States, I think we, one of them are going to go win the championship. Uh, what, what do you say, Pawan? I think uh, absolutely OK. So uh, I'm really glad to be here. And I'm really uh, wishing all the best uh, for this wonderful team. And uh, we're going to watch some wonderful cricket. And uh, all the best to the team. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been fine. It's, uh Obviously, a new team and a new uh, tournament, so I'm looking forward to playing. And what about the World Cup to tomorrow? The World Cup, how excited you are as a cricket is always in your blood. Yeah, I only, if I'm being honest, I haven't watched any cricket um, mm. for the last little while. So good luck to both teams and may the best team win. And who's your favorite star, like on the Cricket Indian side, Indian team? Uh, I don't really have one, to be honest. <laughs> It's, first of all, let me welcome you in Hyderabad. How long have you been coming now? It's your second home, we can say. Thank you, sir. Absolutely, <laughs> and I love it. Absolutely. The cuisine uh, is phenomenal. The city has changed. Mm. I think my uh, first visit to Hyderabad was when I represented India. We were playing against New Zealand, okay. and uh, Tendulkar got that 180 odd. We were playing against New Zealand. Mm. We did well. Then, after that, my son, who's a golfer, we uh, were here. He was representing, uh, playing a tournament for the IGU. We always loved coming back to Hyderabad. The flavors, the cuisine mm. is incredible. And I think it's a good combination when it's come to food with cricket. <laughs> <laughs> and the nightlife with the cricket, how it goes well with your team. What are the memories you have on that day is when you were a part of the World Cup? Uh, you know, the memories have been phenomenal. Mm. I guess uh, I was part of the 1999 World Cup in England, mm. but we would still go out. Uh, we had a three-week camp in Leicester mm. and we were very fortunate that we had a three-week uh, camp in Leicester because, like you said, mm. you know, you practice yes. and then you go out there and you want that Indian flavors, the mm. palate is there, you want to eat the right kind of food as well. So we were very fortunate. So And you come to Hyderabad, mm. similar. We had some fantastic uh, practice sessions here. Mm. The grounds have changed. Mm. The infrastructure in Hyderabad is growing so rapidly for cricket. Mm. The day and night facilities, I was uh, amazed at. Yeah. You know, we were able to go have a look at four or five different grounds. Then we picked one ground mm. for day and night. The lighting has been phenomenal. The wickets have been uh, really good. I think from here on in, I think in the next five to ten years, mm. you'll see a lot of younger talent coming through the ranks and going out there and st uh, setting the world stage on fire mm -hmm. with their cricket mm -hmm. because of the infrastructure. Yes. Now it's gone to the grassroots level and that's what you want. And as we now a coach, what problems actually you struggle <laughs> like when you used to give a trouble to your coach. So you somewhere get similarity. We have also tried to do coach ko, and I'm also facing the same thing. Do you have these kind of similarity and think about that? No, see, the good thing is I played uh, with a lot of uh, guys who are on the team. Yes. I've shared uh, dressing rooms with them. I played against them and then I shared uh, commentary boxes yes. with them. So we're all good friends, but the most important thing is 
when you retire from international cricket or you've been a first class cricketer, mm. you know, certain things get imbibed in your DNA. Mm. That is number one is your punctuality. Yes. So when we say the bus leaves at five o'clock or bus leaves at uh, a particular time, everybody is in the bus uh, five minutes prior to the bus. Yes. So those little things have been imbibed. So none of the guys are troubling me. So I'm happy. So what was your relation now when you meet Kapil Dev or you meet Sachin, Dhoni? How they treat you or you treat them? Is it always a blast? <laughs> because cricketers always have a blast, right, when they meet. See, the good thing is now with all the ex-cricketers and uh, Kapil Paji being a senior, he's in uh, Delhi. Hmm. I get the opportunity once in a while we're on the golf course together. Hmm. Sachin has started playing golf as well. Yes. I yes. yet to play golf yes. uh, with him. Uh, you, we, a lot of us get together hmm. on a boys trip. We go on a golfing trip hmm. as well. So everybody still is having that connect, hmm. which is the fortunate part. In the end, you know, when you're playing the sport, you still have a heart of a kid right. somewhere in there. So we try and keep that alive. And now when we see these biopics coming on sports, like earlier we don't have that kind of era of having biopics on sports era. How you take it when it started with boxing, when it takes with Dhoni, what next you want and how it gonna actually help in the change of mind of the people who want to be in cricket? I think most important what biopics I personally look at, it's a successful story. Hmm. No matter what the challenges have been, a particular player, whether it's Mahindra Singh Dhoni or you look at Sachin Tendulkar, you look at Virendra Sehwag. There was, there was a, on World Cup movie also. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. 1983, yeah. you come from different uh, walks of life, mm -hmm. the challenges. It's an inspiration mm. to somewhere some kid wants to be a cricketer, has challenges, doesn't mm. have the infrastructure. I know we had a uh, Delhi pace bowler. Mm -hmm. He used to bowl with a small rock okay. to a tree. Mm -hmm. You know, to generate pace. Yes. So you get those innovative ideas. Even with the boxing movies, athletics movie, it's an inspiration. And like you said, what are the other biopics I'd like to see? People who've been able to make changes in their respective field. Whether it could be a doctor. Okay, great. You know, in True. the south, southern India, we've got one of the best eye hospitals. Yeah, yeah. And there was just a transition that I want to do something for mm. the good of the people. Mm -hmm. That engineering, scientists, those are stories that need to come out as well because ultimately, you know, they yeah. say passion. If you are passionate about something, you'll get success. No, but there was a the news happening that Virat, we'll see more of Virat Kohli next biopic. You heard of must be. <laughs> are you excited to know about that? It'll be phenomenal, I'll tell you that. I was a selector when he played his first first class game for Delhi okay. as well. Mm -hmm. He's had some incredible work ethics. And as all are excited, all are right on their eyes for tomorrow. How are you excited about tomorrow? No, but our game, sta <laughs> no, but our game starts on the 21st. <laughs> yeah, that also will come on that. That's, that's a very important as a sports person. But tomorrow is a very crucial day as an Indian, you know. So what do you have to say? You've been so associated closely, emotionally with them. You know, you look at the last uh, few World Cups. I think the kind of form that our team is in this World Cup. Mm -hmm. Everybody is geared up like uh, anything. I, you don't see a weakness, whether it's the pace department, the spin department, the batting department. Mm -hmm. Everyone and anyone on that particular day who's doing well raises their arm and says, Tonight, tonight's my day, mm. I'm going to win the game. Mm. And that's the feeling that you want as well. And I'm sure some of the seniors, they might be playing their last World Cup, mm. they want to go out with a bang. Okay. And let's wish them. <laughs> Would you like to give any tips to them? What they need to be actually taken care of if this video goes to them? <laughs> Listen, guys, you're doing a phenomenal job. Have a good night's sleep. Mm. Clear your minds, it's just another game. The final tag is there, but it's treated like just another game. Oh, and these, uh, all these, uh, whatever the series were happening, you were in, involved. I mean, you yes, were watching each and every. Which one you think it was a tough, and you really we got, we got to win, and you were also nervous while watching it. Correct. Well, uh, the entire World Cup uh, game that we look at, every single game, I think uh, we've been able to dominate the opposition, yes. and that just comes from self belief mm -hmm. and uh, everyone in the team. It's not just eleven on the team. It's the guys sitting out and also the support staff. And it filters down from probably even the masseurs, the physios on the team. That belief is filtering down that this World Cup is going to be ours. Mm. So every single game, that's why we've been able to dominate. And let's come back to your team. Yeah. <laughs> that's more important you're here for. Let's, I mean, how Level you are Urban Risers, when we can see this happening and what are the like plans? See, the first game of the Urban Risers is going to be on the 21st of this uh, month. You can watch it on Star Sports. Okay. And we've got a very good team. We've got a very balanced team. Mm. We're very fortunate to be able to pick the players that we have mm -hmm. in the draft as well. So first season, 
we want to also start with a bang. And why? I mean, Venkat is always a cricketer lover. He's always come and support you. How it's like uh, is a surprise, and how he deal with when he's on the field. No, it was phenomenal to see uh, Venkatesh be here, and um, you know, taking our time to unveil the jersey as well. And I was sitting, and I said, "Listen, had I known that you were in town, we would have got you to come and bat in the nets as well. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe." Uh, maybe we'll be able to get a couple of, couple of celebs to play in the future tournaments. Yes, yes, that, should be, that, should be. that should be a goal as well. So from the South uh, industry, if you see who are the like cricketer players according to you who actually you've seen very frequently in the matches till now and you also know them. Uh, Venkataji is somebody, he's... Uh, there. So I've known him, so I follow him as well. Uh, I haven't seen too many others okay. that I know of, but uh, Vekaraj is a hard, uh, hardcore cricket uh, fan. And, and Bollywood, have you always see Shah Rukh sir is supporting? Shah Any Rukh other? Yeah. Yeah. Sunil Shetty is there, yeah. you know, John Abraham is there, mm. um, Siddharth is uh, there, um, Shahid Kapoor is there. Mm. Bollywood is all about cricket, you know. Yeah. We saw a couple of videos of uh, Varun Dhawan play tennis because yes, the World yes, Cup yes, is going yes, on. Yes. So, it's just the flavour in the country and that's what you want. Okay. And Trust you me, every player enjoys that moment when the entire country collectively is backing them. And now Tollywood industry obviously is going pan-India. You want them to come and cheer for this uh, Hyderabad city like or Tollywood, like if you talk about Lalu Arjun, Mahesh Babu Jr. and they are pan-India. So I think you should tell Absolutely. them, yes. <laughs> Please follow us okay. in our own style. And uh, play cricket. Obviously, they will be playing cricket in their childhood memories. So would you like to say something to them? Please come and support your own team. You know, after a long time, uh, the Urban Risers Hyderabad is your own team and hopefully we can see all of you on the cricket ground cheering for your own team and we welcome you all with open arms and I trust you me, uh, this is coming from the coach, I'll get all of you to play as well oh, in the nets. One day I think it can be uh, like all superstar and you're the coach. Till now you have just met with Venkatesh personally, you know, other Tollywood you were not in touch. Yeah, because we've been having practice sessions mm -hmm. and uh, we've had a pretty packed last couple of days. So we haven't really been able to meet a lot of people. But I look forward to that opportunity. So any good student, celebrity student of yours would like to end up by knowing? <laughs> no, Whom you know. have taught cricket and you know, any no, good memories? We, we played a lot of cricket uh, against each other, we played some exhibition games as well, I'll tell you what, hmm. you watch Sunil Shetty bat. Yes. He's phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> so he te you teach him, like, no, is he no, like no, a student? No, no, I don't teach him, but I've played against him okay. and he's a good friend as well. So. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank and you. We just want to end up um, again your last message to your all fans and the people who are there to come. Please support and give your love to the Urban Rises Hyderabad. This is our first season in the tournament. Trust you me, we are going to entertain you one and all. We just need your blessings. And for tomorrow, one message. World Cup. Good luck. Yeah. Team India and also keep supporting your nation as well. Team India, you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, Thank for talking you. to us. Congratulations, sir, for today. What do you have to say? Like being a part of it and when youngsters come to this field, how you feel it? I think it's a it's a great initiative. Uh, we have our uh, local team uh, uh, and uh, local boys. We have got Suman. We have got uh, uh, Sudip Tyagi here uh, along with me, and then we have got a brilliant leader in uh, Suresh Raina. Uh, so we are really really looking forward to do well and uh, uh, perform because uh, as uh, cricketers, this is a great uh, second platform for us. Uh, because once you're retired, you try and pursue some different career, getting into coaching, getting into uh, uh, like you know commentary yes. as a broadcaster but uh, this is a great platform where you get 10-15 days of uh, reliving your uh, uh, you know c cricketing journey so I'm really really looking forward and to it. And you always have a busy schedule I think for tomorrow what's the plan of action? <laughs> tomorrow I'm I'll be obviously I'll be rooting for the Indian team because uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for us uh, uh, I, and along with me, we'll have 1.4 billion people uh, yes. really looking forward to uh, India lift the cup. Uh, saying that, uh, I wish, uh, you know, India has been really, really brilliant with uh, their skills and uh, the way they're carrying themselves. Only thing I would say, the way they handle the pressure would be a, would be a challenge because the expectations are so much, uh, uh, the, the stakes will be so high. So only thing that they need to do is how well they are mentally placed. That will be something which uh, India needs to uh, look into uh, to beat uh, a team like Australia. I just want to know, Ander, by knowing when India wins, what first thing you do? How you celebrate? I think uh, as a cricketer, uh, you've played so much cricket, hmm. you understand. Uh, yeah. The pain. You know, <laughs> not the pain, it's the everything. Yes. Like, you know, how much it takes. It is not those yes. uh, one month. It is the past uh, one, one and a half year that you have put in to reach where you are. Yes. And once you have reached there, you want to up yourself. Hmm. Uh, because, you know, that is 
the chance in four years time to win it so i think i think uh, only thing i would say is uh, you feel really really proud of uh, what indian team has done so far and uh, once you have reached this far you want them to live the so cup. how you celebrate i think it's 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 quite that simple <laughs> it's it's quite simple uh, uh, it's like you know uh, as as uh, as a a uh, normal middle class boy what do you do you go and pray yes, and uh, that's good. what you do and uh, uh, not only me and uh, all our family members even uh, everybody yes. first thing what they do is they thank the god yes. uh, i think that is what we uh, i i do normally and and you know the biopic is coming on virat kohli are you excited and any other cricketer you are you wanted to watch a biopic on uh maybe mohammad shami and rohit sharma oh wow that's a great one yeah mohammad shami and rohit sharma it's been a great journey for them uh, and uh, if rohit lift the cup uh, obviously you want to see what he's been through yes. and then mohammad shami uh, because as a bowler there are few bowlers who we talk about and that journey the spike that is seen ups and downs that is something which people would like to see and get uh, motivated thank you so thank much you. sir